our weekly segment. On this day. And uh, we're going to go jump all the way back to the year before I was born, 1984. WWF held the Brawl to End It All uh, match between Wendy Richter, of course, accompanied by Cindy Lauper, and WWF Women's Champion, the Fabulous Moolah, managed by Captain Lou Albano. This is the first major event in the Rock and Wrestling Connection, and the bout held at New York's Madison Square Garden, aired live on MTV, drawing a 9.0 rating. Boy, wouldn't anybody love a 9.0 rating right now? Woohoo! All right, also, on this day. in 1989, WCW held their Great American Bash from the Baltimore Arena in Baltimore, Maryland. That arena was 100 years old in 1989, by the way. The show, which was headlined by Ric Flair's return to action against Terry Funk, after several months on the sidelines with a neck injury suffered at the hands of Funk is generally considered the first, quote, successful pay-per-view from a financial standpoint in WCW history. It was also a critical success with many saying it was the best bash card ever. Jumping all the, head, all the way ahead to on this day. 2008, Don Ostruff, entertainment president of CW, explained why the network was keeping the low-rated Gossip Girl while dropping the high-rated SmackDown, stating there was virtually no flow between the audience that watched WWE and anything else on CW. We decided the most important criteria is branding the network. SmackDown would move onto My Network TV before landing then on Sci-Fi before working its way back through USA and now, of course, on Fox. Uh, on this day. In 2010, Randy Savage makes his final wrestling-related public appearance via video when he announced his action figure will be included in the WWE action figure line produced by Mattel. And then finally, on this day. in 2012, Raw 1000 was a television special broadcast live, of course, uh, on the USA Network in the U.S., it was the 1,000th episode of WWE's flagship show, Raw. It was held at Scott Trade Center in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, the show featured five matches, a wedding ceremony, and appearances from past performers. The wedding between AJ Lee and Daniel Bryan ended with AJ leaving Bryan after being announced as the new general manager of Raw by Chairman Vince McMahon. The Miz defeated Christian, become the Intercontinental Champion. And in the main event, John Cena won by DQ in a WWE Championship match against defending champion CM Punk after cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. Um, the a episode averaged 6 million viewers, Raw's highest since June of 2009. Uh, the episode also started the permanent and sometimes bemoaned three-hour format, which had previously only been reserved for special episodes. That was... On this day. For July the 23rd. <laughs> 